So along with all the other crazy things that I did to this house and other and products that I tried out, of course, it was only a matter of time before I went out and bought some photovoltaic solar panels. Uh, these two modules are 160 watts each. They come from Sentinel Power Systems. Um, they, what's interesting about their product versus uh, pretty much all the other products on the market is they have created what I would sort of call more like an appliance. Um, when you buy the kit, you get the panel, the aluminum racking system, and the microinverter so that there isn't a lot of different parts coming from different places and different companies. It's pretty much all packaged as one unit and you just basically need to get it installed and you're ready to go. The other interesting thing about their product is the fact that each of these panels has a built-in microinverter. After doing some research, I sort of figured out that running the panels, running a high voltage DC line down into the basement, connecting up to a central inverter, uh, posed a lot of problems as far as initial capital costs that you had to invest out. You couldn't make it scalable because the inverter has to match the number of panels on the roof. Um, and when you run into things like high voltage DC lines, it becomes difficult to ask an electrician to just come and set this up. You're talking about some unique and specialized uh, products. Effectively what happens is you take the kit, you mount the uh, aluminum hardware, the inverter is underneath here, and it has all the wires pre-done uh, with special connections. You just click the panel to the inverter, and the inverter gets connected to a second inverter if you have it and the first inverter on the line you simply get a special start kit that you connect uh, a, a series of four wires of ground um, two hot and one neutral I believe and, and at that point you're producing AC power so from there you're running just a regular number eight wire uh, from here to a meter and then into your uh, electrical panel and a 40 amp breaker the, of course, the purpose of doing this was, um, one was on the government levels. Uh, we made our application to the OPA, we made our application to Horizon Utility. We went through that whole experience and process, found basically that it was pretty straightforward. Some, because the, pro the system is new, it, there was a few things that we had to sort of discuss and get over, but uh, all in all, pretty straightforward thing to get done. The panels themselves, we ordered them um, from uh, from Woodbridge. They were shipped to us. They comply with the uh, amount of Ontario content, which is part of the uh, OPA regulations. We more or less mounted them on the roof in about an hour or two. Really, it was not there wasn't any issues. We just uh, it's all pretty straightforward sort of thing. And uh, next is uh, we just need to get uh, an electrician to come in run, as I said, number eight wire to a box here, connect the panel, the, the first inverter up to that box. The number eight wire will run down to the exterior of the house where Horizon has asked for a second 100 amp meter base to be installed. And that meter will monitor all the electricity that these two panels generate and therefore sell back into the grid. And from there, we'll run a line back into the house and connect up to the standard uh, electrical panel and a double pole 40 amp breaker. These two panels will generate 320 kilowatts maximum. And uh, if everything is estimated correctly, uh, should generate about three to four thousand dollars worth of revenue a year under the OPA feed program. It, uh, it's going to be pretty exciting uh, to see if we do meet that. It's going to be pretty exciting to see if this is a viable business option uh, as far as the amount of capital that's invested in your rate of return. And one of the other components that I bought from Sentinel is a web-enabled controller, uh, which is installed in the uh, basement next to the electrical panel. Once the system is up and running, I'll be able to broadcast the performance of these and the data that these panels uh, generate to the web. It will be on my website. You'll see how much 
of electricity I generated that day, that week, that month, that year, and talks about how much revenue and carbon offset and uh, anecdotal things like how many light bulbs you could uh, light with, uh, with these two panels. Uh, it's also helpful that because the, there are two inverters, I can analyze and isolate each panel through this web-enabled software. It will show me how this panel is doing, how that panel is doing. If I decide to put a second or uh, a third or fourth panel someplace else on the roof, um, it will be shown on a diagram and I'll be able to monitor the performance and know whether or not the panel is malfunctioning or needs to move or um, whatever the case may be. So, uh, very excited uh, to see how this works and if you're interested in uh, getting any solar panels, uh, let me know. The Sentinel Power Systems has made me a dealer and I'm looking forward to uh, the opportunity to put these up on, uh, on uh, some of my projects as well as uh, some uh, production uh, builder projects. The, I guess I should also say for the builders, the benefit to them is, is that theoretically you could put one panel up for a very, very minimal cost and basically call it your building your house uh, a green house or a solar ready house that effectively once the infrastructure is in place the uh, applications are all made uh, a second third fourth panel can be easily added simply by uh, mounting the panel to the roof and plug and play one panel into the next panel